This is our agenda. We we'll take you through about and our mission, methodology, and UN SDGs, pilot project, research questions, our design goals, our support model, community sustainability, budget, and finally our impacts output and conclusion. About us, who are we? Lands of Trust is a New York based consultancy that builds the resilience and sustainability for global indigenous art sculptures through partnerships and business opportunities that address community needs, advance quality living, and safeguard traditional arts futures. What we do, we collaborate to build adaptable innovative solutions with indigenous art sculptures, create access to viable markets for them, while giving back to the community, and engage youth generations in craft advancement processes. Our mission is to protect, promote, and preserve indigenous arts cultures by offering customized professional management consulting services for them. Our methodology includes the 4D design strategy, triple bottom line by design plus culture, nuance change model, and the Griner model of growth. The UN SDGs our project is aligned with is UN SDG 10, that's reduced inequalities, and UN SDG 11, sustainable cities and communities. Now Alex will take you through our pilot project. Thank you, Rish. Cota Doria is a way of life. Cota Doria is an identity. For the people of Kaithun, Cota Doria is everything. This was spoken by the young woman weavers of Kaithun, India this past January. Imagine, you've practiced your craft since you were born and you were never recognized for your work. The face of your craft lives outside the household and is selling your work. Work that has been spent being made during tireless craft making hours while earning majority of your income. Imagine, your family eats, lives, and breathes this craft. You need to continue this craft in order to survive, and it still only makes you the bare minimum. Imagine using your hands, your feet, your eyes, your soul, and every inch of your body 10 to 11 hours a day just to make ends meet. Imagine. Today, we'll take you through the story so you no longer have to imagine. Today, Lands of Trust team will walk you through the journey of the Cota Doria Woman Weavers, the beautiful woman who we've been working with for the past six months, presenting to you their craft, their challenges, their community developmental needs, required to achieve craft sustainability and community survivability for the 3,000 weaving women of Cape in India. For context, Cota Doria is a finely hand-woven cotton silk textile dating back since the 17th century that has become increasingly popular globally but the community struggles to sustain their craft and pass the tradition of weaving onto the next generation due to unstable socioeconomic circumstances. In an effort to combat these challenges, we present to you our pilot project, The Woman of Cota Doria, a step towards imagining a better life and future for the woman. मेरा नाम ताहिरा बानू है मैं कोटाडोरिया बचपन से बनाती हूँ और हम जैसे को तो बहुत ज्यादा दिक्कत आती है कमर में पैरों में खंडों में दर्द आंखों में दर्द और ये नशा तन आती है इन्हें आसे दम जा रहा है सूत्रे संपे जा रहा है हमारा मजदूरी तो हमारी मजदूरी तो कम होती जा रही आज से पांच साल पहले थी वही मजदूरी अभी है क्योंकि मजदूरी तो बड़ी नहीं रही कस्टमर वाला जो दाम लेते वो जो पहले पांच साल पहले लिया था साड़ी उन्हें दस हजार में लिया था तो अभी भी तो इनकी कला को समझे इनकी मेहनत को समझे टेढ़ से टेढ़ थोड़ी इनकी मेहनत को देखे कि कितने लोग काम करके कितनी मेहनत हो रही इसमें और कितने मतलब कितने घंटे काम कर रही है ये कस्टमरों को समझना चाहिए इस बात के लिए जाके कोटा डोरिया जिंदा रह सकता है सो हियर वी प्रेजेंट अ समरी ऑफ द इकोसिस्टम चैलेंजेस डिस्कस्ड बाय द वीवर्स रैपिड अर्बनाइजेशन डिक्रीज पार्टिसिपेशन इन द लेबर फोर्स पैट्रियार्कल सोसाइटी लैक ऑफ पॉलिसी प्रोटेक्शन यूथ डिसएंगेजमेंट यूथ अर्बन माइग्रेशन दिस देन लेट अस टू आवर रिसर्च क्वेश्चन इन व्हाट वेज कैन लैंड ऑफ ट्रस्ट डिजाइन अ प्रोग्राम दैट नर्चर्स इकोसिस्टम क्वालिटी एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ एन इंडिजिनस कल्चर एंड कम्युनिटी 
let us begin. To initiate our project, we identified an indigenous community with an existing cultural arts practice that can be nurtured into growth. Next, we consulted with the community to create a tailored business model that connects the artisans to new markets and capital. Internally, we defined a budget and a plan of action. At the core of Lands of Trust design goals is community empowerment. Alongside the community, we identified needs and opportunities for development. For our pilot project with the women of Cotodoria, we designed a support model towards community sustainability. We designed the support model in response to the obstacles described by the weavers throughout our conversation. The model is a step-by-step -step guide designed to meet community goals through new opportunities and partnerships. We built this model to be re replicable amongst varying indigenous arts communities in order to promote cultural and economic sustainability across the globe. Here's an overview of the first step of our support model, community analysis, in which we locate the indigenous community to work with and define their cultural assets. During initial conversations, we work together to uncover their needs and goals and then begin to identify potential local and global partnerships to accomplish them. In our conversations with the weavers, we discuss their experience during the pandemic, primarily reliant on local sales and overshadowed by middlemen. They currently have an excess inventory that they have not been able to sell. Additionally, the products sold in, sold in local market have not reflected the cost increase in materials or the true work time spent weaving on the loom. This pattern has resulted in less and less compensation for their labor. The second need uncovered was the physical pain and eye problems resulting from their working conditions, long hours, and the lack of accessible health support. The third issue is a lack of infrastructure. The community centers and stock rooms are prone to flooding and do not provide a dignified workspace. Lastly, there is very little internet connectivity in the village, resulting in isolation and missed business and education opportunities. Alongside the community, we establish some directing goals. Through business and marketing activities, we will increase sales and visibility via, via an e-commerce platform and access to new markets. We are also establishing local and global partnerships, for instance, with designers and boutiques. Through the increased resources flowing in the community, we hope to aid in personal development for the women, to build skills of financial literacy, and to eventually contribute to improving infrastructure and connectivity. The second step of our support model is trust building. We started off by building rapport with the community, then hosted virtual workshops, and finally two of our members traveled to the community for ethnographic research and to gather direct insights on the project design. The virtual workshop was a part of our initial trust building process. We connected with the weavers via WhatsApp and introduced ourselves, shared our values and backgrounds, and established a bond. Through this, we gained a basic understanding of the community's heritage and what the craft means to each weaver. Then we hosted in-person workshops during our trip to the community and identified the community's hopes for the craft and gained insights on the weaver's marketing needs and existing business model, including key stakeholders and customer relations. We also held a two-day live exhibition and sales event of Cota Doria, sponsored by Rao Mato Singh Museum Trust, where each unique process of the craft was demonstrated, educating the local public on the hard work that goes into the fabric. Additionally, we facilitated an eye camp for the weaving community sponsored by DDI, a local optometry organization providing the weavers the opportunity for corrective glasses prescriptions. Step three of our support model is testing the solution. We take the community solution that we designed and go through the cycle of implementing, monitoring, measuring, and redesigning then repeat this process. During this step, we identified an opportunity in the community's post-COVID excess inventory and the inability to efficiently reach local and global sales markets. We designed a direction for the solution around this opportunity, focusing on the sales, promotion, and repurposing of the Weaver's dead stock. The solution we came up with is to create new global and local partnerships and a platform and a new business model that provide access to viable markets. <laughs> Community sustainability is the last step of our support model. Its concept implement solution, monitor, measure, and redesign solution to the further expansion of the ecosystem in Kotodoria. We will be officially launching an e-commerce website with a product we are currently designing with women. And our last slide of our presentation, we will share our QR code of email, so please email us to receive updates.
we'll be moving on to our finance breakdown, and this is a chart of expenses overall the non-profit Kotadoya project for 12 months, which includes four different programs, which is workshop, I camp, exhibition, and field work in the past five months, and product development and manufacturing in the future. So our income consists of uh, four components, including unrestricted income, sponsorship, uh, product sales, and proceeds from fundraising events. Uh, in terms of unrestricted income, we are actively uh, seeking funding from different sources, such as First People's Fund Fellowships and Art for Hope Grant Program from the Hindi Moto India Foundation. These funds will directly support the Land of Trust pilot project for women of Kododoria. We also will continue to run the GoFundMe and aim to set up donation corners or fundraising sections to encourage more customers and audiences to contribute to the project. Uh, as for sales, we propose a net profit ratio of 30% for our products, and we will uh, use this uh, net a profit to support the artists and the Kota Doria project. Uh, and here are some data uh, on positive social impact generated by the application of our support model in the community. Uh, we created two local partnerships where we hosted the exhibition and ICAM. Uh, 500 people from India were educated about the Kota Dora community through the exhibition. Two new platforms were launched, as we mentioned, and 105 women received eye care benefits from the eye camp. One new global partnership was secured in terms of design, marketing, and sales. And finally, 75% uh, of the global community youth have expressed uh, interest to learn more about the Kota Doria craft and marketing. Uh, as for our long-term impact, we are keeping generate increased income for the community uh, from several actions. And we are also a commission to sustain the secure and the dignified livelihoods by generating health consolation and infrastructure development for women of Kota Doria. We collaborate uh, with women to develop craft re-engagement and involve more people, uh, such as establishing online platforms and product innovation based on sustaining the cultural practice of indigenous community. We keep building resilient and sustainable impact from our model, which further help them strengthen the understanding of their own identity. Lastly, we also keep ensuring the craft and its legacy live on from our series of actions by applying our market. In conclusion, the practice behind Kota Doria weaving is unique. However, the challenges faced by the women are shared across marginalized indigenous artists and communities globally. Our hope is that with our support model, we can apply our research to more traditional arts communities worldwide and lead the way towards community and cultural development and craft sustainability. We have a QR code for everybody who wishes to stay informed about developments with the community and also wish to receive updates on our newly launching collection that the weavers have been working on, which includes lots of new dresses and lots of products for the Western market using their fabrics. Um, here you can shop and wish to collaborate with us on future projects as well. Thank you.